Hello, Chibets and Draconians. It is Sasuke, and I'm here with Chibi to recommend you one of the shows that we love, Sidonia no Kishi. Sidonia's freaking badass. I love this series. Oh, yeah. And it's one of those seri series that unfortunately get a lot of swack because of its art style. You know, one thing I don't like that a lot of people complain about is usually they're quick to judge just by the animation or art style in an anime series. And that's something I feel like Sidonia no Kishi, or Knights of Sidonia, the English term, gets judged for. Honestly, a lot of anime from this season have been judged because of that. I mean, like Ping Pong, for instance. And so I feel like a lot of people should really know about this epic series, Sidonia no Kishi. Yes, and just for you guys uh, to learn, it is done in complete CG. So... That being said, this is the anime where I can say the CG actually does work. Now, is it the best? No, but it looks great, though. They do a very good job of animating everything in the CG, and they make the monsters of the series look scary as hell. And, Chibi, would you like to explain the plot? Well, the main plot of the entire series is pretty much this giant spaceship called Sidonia. It's just traversing through space, and you have these knights called Knights of Sidonia that have to get different minerals and materials from different planets, and then one day they come in contact with this Ghana. Now, at first the series begins, you have no idea what the enemy is, you don't even know what it is, but when you see it, it looks like just this fleshy, covered, humanoid monster that could transform its body. And it's just it's so disturbing and disgusting. Like Sasuke said, the the Ghana, it just it's so disturbing. It really gives you a chill when you see it for the first episode. And it definitely when I saw the first episode of Sidonia no Kishi, it had me hooked. Yeah. Uh for me it took, you know, an extra episode or two just because I didn't necessarily care for the kind of uh approach it had in the first uh, few episodes with this white kind of comedy stuff, but then they decide to take it a lot more seriously. You know, as the series progresses, and I love it that they have so many dark tones, but at the same time, they don't lose the identity of what Sidonia is about. Yeah, yeah, that's the big thing now. I love Sidonia because it tries to stay serious, and it's usually always serious. There is some romance and comedy moments in the anime, but I don't feel like it takes down the overall quality of the series. Uh, one other thing that I do have to say that I really love about Sidonia is actually what they do with the humanity aspect of the show, where you have a lot of the people who actually want to leave Sidonia and go onto other planets because they don't want to fight the... Ghana, you know, they have their own beliefs and they think like the government is hiding stuff from them, which I think is very well done. Actually, the government, I believe, is hiding that. And Moral Council, they're definitely hiding something from the entire crew of Sidonia. But I don't agree with the rebels, the actions of how they're saying that the Kabisashi, that they, they should take and lay down their weapons and they all think that the Ghana won't attack them. That's incredibly stupid and dumb. Because clearly a couple episodes ago, this is spoiler territory, we saw a Ghana attacking the rebels that were leaving and pretty much going to go to another planet without any weapons, and a Ghana was strictly going to go after them. But thanks to Sidonia, it saved them. Yeah, I just think, you know, there's so many small things that are done w right with the show, and it really it pulls you in, especially uh, when one major decision happens that the captain of the ship has to make and at that point if you are not hooked then there's something wrong with you <laughs> oh that i think it was episode five wasn't it that happened that one scene oh my god dude the tension it was definitely one of the best episodes of this anime season the, the amount yeah. of budget in that scene yes by far and i think sidonia really really has a good chance of being in the top 10 of anime this year although sadly that's not saying that much considering this year hasn't been that great yet you know i'm gonna kind of disagree with you on that i've enjoyed this year for the most part it hasn't been that bad well i'm just saying that as a fact of what would be there in the top 10 this year i mean there's not really anything that stands out that yeah this is gonna be in the top 10 you know well i, I have to agree actually i'll have to say sidonia no kishi may not be top 10 of the year material but it's definitely probably the best of this anime season so if you have yet to check out knights of sidonia or sidonia no kishi uh, go give it a watch you should not judge a book by its cover let alone the animation or cgi of an anime because this series has a lot of plot and definitely is a unique story and people are quick to judge and say that this most likely is an attack on titan clone which by far it is not it is not and anybody that says that i will drive to your house beat you up and force you to watch sidonia all the way through that's kind of violent but the main thing to back that claim up is sidonia no kishi came out 
way before Attack on Titan ever did. The writing of the manga did. So technically, Sidonia no Kishi was not copying no one. Yeah, it wasn't copying anyone, at, but I will say I am glad that Sidonia came out this season because it is a good watch, and I'm glad to have watched it so far. Well, anyways, everybody, this is going to be the end of this video of recommendations for Sidonia no Kishi. If you want to see more stuff like this where me and Sasuke get together and talk about different anime we want to recommend from each individual season, please let us know in the comments below. And also, if you're watching this on my channel, go check out Sasuke and subscribe to him. He's a pretty cool guy, and I definitely recommend watching some of his reviews. He has some interesting outlooks. I don't always agree with everything he says, but I mean, everybody has their own opinion, and that's why I like Sasuke. And mine is a lot more brutal than Chibi's. Well, everybody, you have a wonderful day or not wherever you live. Please be safe. Chibi out. Bye!